Hey everybody, welcome to ZBrush, and let's get some quick startup ramp up stuff out of the way. So when you first start up ZBrush, you're going to be greeted by this home screen right here. If you don't want it to show up every time you start up ZBrush, go to this gear icon and say show if news updated, and then you can go ahead and close that out. If you ever want that back, you can go up here to this very top menu, go to Z plugin, miscellaneous utilities, and you can just launch that home page uh, one more time. We'll get a little bit more in depth on this top menu as we go and progress through the course. Uh, but for now, what I want to do is bring your attention down here to this light box. So to open and close the light box, there's a couple different ways. If you want to just hide the light box when you first start up ZBrush, just go up here to hide. And you can also click the comma key and hide the hide and bring back the light box as needed. You can also go up here to preferences, light box, and there's a light box button. So, and you can also see as I hover over this light box button, it says down here in the little little pop-up window, show hide light box is the comma key. So it'll go ahead and tell you what this button does. It shows and hides the light box and it has a comma key. If you hold down the control button while you're hovering over anything in the ZBrush interface, you'll see that it'll give you even more information. So for example, if I go over here to the right side and I hover over frame, you're gonna see frame is F, which is the hotkey for that. You hold down control, it'll give you a lot more information on what frame actually does. So it's kind of like a built-in help menu within the ZBrush interface. Now right off the bat, you're going to see my interface is probably a little bit different than yours. Shouldn't be too different. Uh, this is cleaned up a little bit. I'll tell you why as we progress. Uh, but for now, let's go back to the light box here. And you're going to see by default, we're set up over here underneath the project tab. If I start clicking on these, you're going to see everything I click on will open up a new area, which has specific ZBrush items located in them. For example, we're in the brush tab right here. And there'll be a bunch of brushes in here that you can go and kind of sort through. So once we get to the basic brushes, we'll talk a little bit more about these. If you want to know where these live, if you go to Windows, you're going to go to uh, the C drive, Program Files, Pixel Logic, ZBrush 2018. And for example, we're in the Brush tab here. So if we go to Brushes, Z Brushes here, you're going to see we have Beta Tester Brushes, Clay, Curves, Deco, etc. Every single one of these folders is represented right here. So in fact, if we right click in here and we say new folder, and let's just go ahead and name that test. Let me move this up so you can see it. So we put a test folder in there. If I go and I hide the light box and let's hit the comma key to bring that back. You see when we have brush selected, we now have a test folder in there. And of course you can save your brushes in here. And we'll get to more of that uh, later. So this is a really convenient, handy way to go ahead and save items that you're going to be using later on. For example, if we go back here to project. There's a lot of quick projects you can open. If you go over here to tool, a couple of quick tools you can load up and we'll go over the difference between tools and projects in just a second. But I just want to show you where the light box exists, why it exists and how it's kind of a handy, convenient little thing that you can use. So you can go ahead and create your alphas, any materials. If you want to do like stylized comic book materials, you can load these up as needed. And one more time, if you want to get rid of the light box, just hit the comma key. And if you're launching ZBrush a lot and you don't really use the light box that much, or you know how easy it is just to bring the light box up, you can also go here to preferences, open the light box. There's your light box button. And right next to that is open at launch. If you turn that off, that'll not open light box at launch. Now, before we get out of here, what we're going to need to do is go up here to the config in our preferences menu. So here's a menu, and then underneath here is a sub menu. Um, how you open multiple menus up at once is you can, you're gonna see if I go down here, if I just click on Lightbox, it'll open up Lightbox. If I go up here to say config, that'll close Lightbox and open config. If that's what you want, that's absolutely fine. Uh, if you wanna open up multiple menus, all you have to do is hold down shift. And then for example, we can have Lightbox and config open at the same time. So now that we've turned off open at launch, all we got to do is go, is go here to store config. And that'll say, okay, every time you open up ZBrush, it's not going to turn on Lightbox at startup. And we're going to be doing a lot of customization later on in the training. And we're going to be referring back to this preferences, store config, and uh, hotkeys and stuff like that. But for now, I think that's all you'll really need to know.